Hi, I'm Brent. This is another video update on our ongoing R&D for the Subaru and Toyota BRZ Toyota 86 FA 20 engines and that's the new uh, DIT engine with the port injectors on the inlet manifold obviously coming out in the normally aspirated form. Pretty typically common around the world now for forced induction with turbochargers and superchargers of all sorts of different designs. And what I've got here beside me is some upgraded uh, pistons and rods so I can show you today of some of the things that we've learned in the last 12 to 18 months which is some good R&D information to help you decide what you should be choosing yourself when you're looking to upgrade your engine. Now there are quite a few different Conrod manufacturers available now and there are quite a few uh, piston manufacturers some of which will use original uh, spec length rods some have got different offsets to the pistons for different uh, compression ratios but typically these days as you remember, this engine has a 12 and a half to one compression ratio. Most people go to a revised compression ratio for forced induction of anywhere between 10 and nine to one. Now these uh, engines here, um, pistons, this is a piston and a rod out of an existing engine that we've actually had some problem with the um, bearing. And you've got to remember um, on this engine configuration, the, the bottom end of the conrod has got an offset position so you can dismantle the Conrod out of the engine unlike an EJ20 or an EJ25 Subaru earlier model engine. And you can see here this is a revised Conrod that we're now specifying in all our, our updates with the same angle because you've got to remember effectively when it's in the engine it's like that. And what I wanted to show you was when the piston is um, travelling up and down the bore Obviously, this side of the conrod where the joint is between the rod end cap and the main rod has got more load on it than this. And on this particular uh, rod here, you'll notice they've got a dowel connection to locate the end cap accurately sideways and up and down so it doesn't float. Whereas this particular rod has got a sawtooth design as well as a dowel connection. So what this does is the dowel connection locates it, but the sawtooth design takes a sideways load of the uh, connection between the end cap and the main rod when it's running, which reduces the risk of the connection between the two fretting or moving against each other, and therefore locates the bearing inside the conrod more snugly and significantly increases the life of the bearings in the car. Now, this particular one, you can't see it, but we, when we dismantled the engine, there was minor fretting between the rod end cap and the conrod itself. Now, fretting is where the two machine surfaces are rubbing against each other, which indicates micro movement of the conrod. And on this particular engine, what ultimately happened was we had a, a bearing failure of the shell just in this local area here, which was indicated by minor hotspots, and ultimately what happened was it spun a bearing. Now this is in an engine that um, has got a larger supercharger on it, and we're now upgrading it and changing it to a newer design conrod, which was this sawtooth design, which will obviously reduce the risk of the fretting and the movement of the end cap um, when the engine goes back together and it's being used in its high load application. So these are some of the things that you need to consider. Different con rods for different applications, depending on how much load you're going to put onto your engine. Of course, these all come at a different cost. And of course, depending on the compression ratio, the design of the piston, the skirt, and all these other things are something else we can talk about later on down the track. But for today, to help you understand a little bit more about your Subaru, hopefully this has helped you um, get some more information for your future upgrades and modifications. Remembering, you need to be very, very careful. You can take a risk and put a lot of um, positive pressure into these normally aspirated engines at high compression of 12 to 1 but ultimately there is a weakness that will ultimately happen and depends on how big a risk you want to take with your engine. What we're doing is finding more and more upgrades that are available and we now have exchange um, bottom end short block assemblies with upgraded pistons and rods and crankshaft if you're looking to do an exchange upgrade for your particular Subaru BRZ or Toyota A6 and of course for our friends in the US it's the Scion FRS. But for today, wherever you are in the world, my name is Brett Middleton. Thanks for watching.